currently up at Loch Lomond um, at Lodge in the Loch, which is right on the banks of Loch Lomond. Uh, I'm up here for an overnight with Laura, but my plan is to get up sharp, do a bit of photography, and um, run about the local area. Um, I'm just going to get my bag ready and I'll run through a few of the items that I've got in it. I've got all my winter gear, my jackets, thermals, gloves, tammy. Um, it's about minus three up here now, it's absolutely freezing. <coughs> so I need to be wrapped up pretty well. I've got my head torch, which I'll definitely need in the morning. I'll be pitch black for about an hour and a half in a minute. Definitely need that. Um, I've got hand warmers, carries about with me everywhere in the winter. Um, Handy, there's nothing worse trying to work a camera when you've got numb fingertips. Um, I've got a cable release here and spare batteries for my GoPro and um, for my camera. I'm using the Sony A7R camera with the Zeiss 1635 f4 lens. Ideal for what I'm doing, mountains and landscapes. Defrosting there before I set off. But I'm heading up towards Arica. Um, I'm not going to head too far away from the hotel. Um, looks like a clear morning anyway, nice crisp morning. There's plenty of stars still about in the sky. Now, see, I know there's a nice jetty area up here. I'm going to try and set the camera up around a bit there. See how we get on. I'll probably need to mess with some morning exposures and um, pick up any light that's going to be appearing, but we'll see how we get on. The Loch Lomond. I'm just going to head down. I'm pretty sure there's a path that you can go down here. It takes you right down to the edge of the water. It's kind of hard to see because it's pitch black, but I've got my head torch with me, so I'll head down and see how we go on. Still, as I said, pitch black now. There's a few stars still. Out. <coughs> um, it's meant to be getting a bit cloudier this morning. Hopefully, we do get a bit of interest in the sky, but. Heading down towards the jetty, down here at Arica, that goes in there at Loch Lomond. Uh, I don't know if the GoPro is pinging up or no, but it's pretty frosty. Everything's frozen over. Uh, I've always wanted to come down to this area down here and get some pictures and take it over the place to myself. There will be another maniacs out here this morning. We'll see how we go. Exposure here. Well, I'm chuffed with that.
we're heading to location number two, which is not actually that far from <laughs> location one. I'm heading back towards the hotel. I've seen a big lay-by that I could probably get out at, um, which is quite close to the walk. Um, I don't know if the GoPro will probably not be picking up the light, but there's some cracking colours coming through um, in the, the far distance at the, the bottom of the loch Lomond. So I'm heading back to get a, a view, hopefully, towards that. Here we go on. Now trying a 30 second exposure, I've put the... I've stopped um, down a few stops. I'm sitting about... I think it was F16 I put out or F18. <coughs> Just to darn it down a bit. So I can boost up the, the, the exposure there, 30 seconds. See how it turns out. Maybe there's some nice movement in the, the clouds and it'll really just bore out that water. Because <coughs> it's quite rough now. Now heading towards location number three. I'm gonna head back to Lush. I'm gonna park up in the main car park there. There's access down to the beach. I'm um, pretty sure that faces right to where the sun rises. I am now came through the village of Lush, one of this jetty here, another one that I'm actually walking right out to the end of this. Uh, looking right across the lock there, should hopefully get some nice pictures. And a wee boat I can see there, which we'll probably, we'll probably use as a feature. Might be something that would uh, heavens for sure you watch them end up in the lock. <laughs> There's still a nice bit of light there, but a lot more cloud, but the sun's about to come up. 